what's going on guys it's Danny here and this is gonna be a high skill rank game commentary and uh, I am stream sniping right now and it looks like I'm gonna get disconnected or something okay not anymore I am stream sniping I said that because do you see the warlock the warlock is Wagamama um, I guess everybody knows who Waga is uh, okay so wait wait are we going to see the first blood in here probably if he only shoots the arrow anytime soon and the arrow hits is it going to hit nope didn't hit wind ranger has boots though so offlane wind ranger with boots good stuff right here um, I said I am stream sniping Waga because that's exactly what I did. It's Sunday, so it's time to record a high skill ranked game commentary. I turned on Twitch and let's see who is streaming and wait for him to start a game. And then I go watch that game and commentate of course. Two weeks ago I did that with Dandy. Uh, three weeks ago I did that with Honey. And uh, Wind Ranger might end up getting the first blood. No, if he had a little bit more HP. That was a good combo, by the way. Sand King um, stun into Mirana Arrow. It's definitely very good for killing people. So, what else do we have? Okay, I wanted to say something. I know there is DAC going right now like the Dota Asian Championship but on Sunday I'm recording these videos um, at 2 or 3 p.m. and I upload them at 11 p.m. or even later than that so you guys might have already watched the games and that has to be the worst misclick in the history of Dota because he wanted to eat a tango but he warded instead. It doesn't matter though, the first blood goes to Slark on the top lane. He kills Magnus. Okay. First blood for Slark Erino. Game is already pretty bad for Radiant because Slark. Fuck Slark, seriously. And looks like there is a new weapon. There is an immortal weapon for Slark that I didn't even know about. It, it has to be really new. And uh, debuffs purged 675. If he has that many debuffs purged, that means he's been playing with the weapon for a while. Oh, that's a nice cure. Sand King, only level 1 burrow strike. Not gonna get the kill. Actually, he might die here because. 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 Shockwave in one mana. Shockwave now. One more auto attack to break the shield and then shockwave. It's enough. Wow, what a play right there. What a play. Two auto attacks to remove the shield and then kill him with the shockwave. Now, second kill for Slark. Um, we can already say GG well played. Radiant lost. But now, seriously, let's stop with the bullshit. I want to stop with the bullshit and uh, start commentating seriously so on the mid lane warlock 15 last hits 14 denies quop with three last hits only i haven't watched the mid lane and apparently warlock is stomping the lane all right so i can guess what's happening he's leveling up stats and shadow ward right that's what's happening right now and then you you put the, oh, this arrow this arrow is not gonna hit but it's a good attempt anyway the dyer has I mean the dyer have a ward right here so Quop should be able to see Mirana because of this ward and he knows when is the arrow coming and where Warlock has no bottle yet He's going for Midas probably and uh, Midas Rush. First item Midas. That 
that could be really good on Warlock if you take your far your time to farm. And right now, uh, Waga is playing a mid lane Warlock, so that's a core Warlock, obviously. And that means he will be farming just like every other core position. So Midas, and then you farm your Scepter Refresher. There you go. You won the game. Um, Anti-Mage on the bottom lane, 28 last hits compared to the Slark. He has 19, so Anti-Mage is doing a little bit better than him on the last hits. But Slark has two kills and he hasn't died a single time. Anti-Mage hasn't died either, but that's not the point. He has his Ring of Health as well as a poor man's shield. Now, in a lane like this, when you play against the Wind Ranger, he right clicks you a lot. And investing 300 gold to finish the the poor man's shield is definitely worth because you start with a stout shield anyway, right? And investing 300 more for the poor man's shield is definitely worth, as I said, because um, Wind Ranger right clicks you a lot and melee support like Sand King. I don't think he can do much against. And I have missed another kill. Uh, Warlock gets a solo kill on Queen of Pain using the ultimate and then immediately after that pressuring the tower so looks like Waga or Warlock is winning this lane really really hard he already has his Midas and that's really good so right now right now um, Warlock is completely stomping he's not just winning the mid lane Quop has 9 CS and he died once. So mid lane is getting completely destroyed by Warlock. The safe lane anti mage is getting a lot of farm. And now he gets a kill on Wind Ranger with his ultimate. So the only one getting a lot from the dire team right now is the axe. He's jungling. But still, we don't have to forget about um, Slark's two kills, because that does count a lot, even though he has 26 last hits at eight at 7 minutes. Okay, Sand King is level 3, and I'm really surprised to see he leveled up the Burrow Strike. Um, instead of the sandstorm if you level up sandstorm you can go jungle because right now at seven minutes he's only level three and he has boots and stick and then 100 gold like he's not even close to the blink i guess he wants to gank a lot um with the burrow strike so if you level up the burrow strike you increase the the range but still I definitely think Sandstorm is really good to level up on level 3. So you can start jungling. And by the way, you should have your jungle stacked a lot. Because I understand if you had a jungler. Let's say Axe was in your team and he's jungling all the time. So you as a Sand King might not be able to have uh, the whole jungle for you only. Right? Because you have an Axe. But right now, they don't have any jungler, so... Um, oh! Okay... He tried to RP them, but that didn't... That didn't, didn't work out, right? What can we do? Fuck my life, though. Don't say that, man. Right now, Slark is being left alone on his lane. So that means he free farms. Uh, the same goes for anti mage. So this is three versus three on the mid lane right now. Okay, Quop, no mana for ultimate. Abaddon is level four, so no ultimate. And that means he's pretty easy to kill. Abaddon, when he gets level six, he gets a lot stronger than before level 6 because he's a support but he's a support that can man up without feeding like if you man up with crystal maiden <laughs> you are dead most probably 
but with Abaddon level 6 you can support, you can heal and shield you can man up and then with your ultimate you can survive and then go back um, so anti-mage, claymore, perseverance, he's going for the naked battle fury naked battle fury, what does that even mean Danny? I can also call it rush battle fury because he has only boots usually you can see anti-mage going for power treads and stuff like that but this is battle fury without power treads just brown boots and then battle fury what does that mean it will be a very early battle fury because so far he's been farming a lot 63 last hits at 10 minutes is pretty good and then one kill on Wind Ranger that he had before. Now Slark, f um, I mean not Slark, Axe, failing the Berserker's call here. Doesn't really matter. Even though it would have been a kill if he didn't fail it actually. Because Quop is here with Shadow Strike, Scream, Sonic Wave. Okay, look at this. Right now Quop is level 6. And Warlock is level 9. And he has 62 last hits. So, the mid lane Quop got completely owned. Like, completely. This is what happens when I play on the mid lane. This is why mid lane is my worst lane. I am probably gonna be in the same situation like Quop. But hey, don't tell anybody about that, okay? All that RP on Slark! Skewer Shockwave and that's a Dead Slark. This is exactly what I want to see. Dead Slark. This is what he deserves. Fuck Slark. Okay? Hashtag Fuck Slark. He... He's the, the worst hero ever. He's very OP hero. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's not talk about OP heroes. Or if any hero is OP, that's just completely pointless. Someone will say, "Yes, there are or there are OP heroes." Yes, there are. Others will say, "No, there is not a single OP hero." Well, if you think there is no OP hero in Dota, then you don't play Dota. You are playing something else. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, Magnus with 1200 gold. He needs 1000 more gold for a blink dagger. Now, this is a gank incoming here. Quop doesn't have mana unless he uses bottle charges. Battle Fury at 12 minutes. This is exactly what I was talking about. The early Battle Fury. And uh, Slark has his Shadow Blade now. So we have. I mean, they are not really big, but we have some very important items for, for the game. And Anti Mage is not gonna die. I thought he is going to die. He might die from the. S nah, he's not gonna die from the, the Shadow Strike. He doesn't have a single point of spell shield, so. I was like, he's probably gonna die from... Oh, what? Just go back, man. If he gets sniped now... Okay, okay, that, that, that was close. And he goes back into ult. Nice! There's some big plays right there. Going back, going in. This is what anti-mage is good at, right? Going back, going in. Blinking and slamming. And now, Shadow... Blade on Slark. Guess what time is it? It's time to kill everyone on the map. So this is also the time when um, the Radiant team should literally start spamming wards, sentry wards, or just buy a fucking gem and say fuck Slark. Oh, okay. Magnus, Magnus d is not even moving. He doesn't care. Okay, let me get some water in here. 
Oh, that shackle though! And then he ults Slark with the Shadow Blade. Yes, yes, yes. Slark, yes. You managed to right click a hero, yes. And then you press Q. Nice. Wind is absolute cancer. Anyway. So this is what happens in almost every game that your supports don't really know what to do. And not only your supports, but your whole team as well. Because what do you do against Slark? You just don't go alone because you're gonna die. The second thing you do, after not going alone, um, you... Is he gonna die here? Nah, the Shadow Ward is... The Shadow Ward might not even help you. Yep, Slark. Slark, Slark, Slark. So, the second thing you do against the Slark is you wanna buy Observers and Sentries. So, this is why you... This is why having two supports against Slark is good. Because you both of them can invest gold into countering the Slark. Because if you counter Slark, if you stop him from getting these early ganks and these early kills and snowball the game, if you stop him from doing that, then you are doing the right thing as a support, right? So right now, Radiant, not a single Observer Ward on the map, not a single Sentry Ward on the map, and they really need it. They have a Mirana support and a Sand King support. Sand King is probably saving for a bring dag Blink Dagger and it is really needed. The Blink on Sand King is just a must. And uh, Anti-Mage. Anti-Mage is a hero that could avoid Slark ganks. Um, at least until Slark gets an Orchid Malevolence if he decides to buy one. I think it's in this game is pretty good because you can silence Warlock before he gets his ultimates off in a very good moment of the fight. You can silence Sand King, you can silence Anti-Mage. Now this is the point, if you get Orchid before Anti-Mage gets his Manta and then you start running after him and killing him all the time and his supports don't do anything to stop you, you're gonna have the easiest game of your life. This is how you counter anti-mage, right? You gank him early with silences, so he can't blink out, obviously. But there is an ultimate orb, so... As I said, um... Slark with Orchid is not a must. I think blink on Slark... Like, blink or shadow blade on Slark is a must. In the very high skill games, Blink is better than Shadow Blade. Because of many reasons. That's another nice arrow. This Mirana is hitting some very nice arrows. But there is one hero to rule them all. Abaddon. Okay? Abaddon, shield. He says no to arrows. You get hit by a maximum range arrow. 5 seconds stun, don't worry. Abaddon will remove it. You don't have to worry. So, this is a point right there. And, um... So, Slark is not going for Orchid. He's going for Ultimate Orb and that's probably... Oh, that's a dead Mirana. Nice. Good stuff, Slark. Nice. You right-click the hero and then you pressed your pounds and then you press your dark pact nice nice stuff anyway I, I have to stop doing that because probably sounds bad um, talking like this to a slark when the hero is very easy to uh, counter anyway See if he's blink yet? No, blink in 150 gold. And Mirana? Mirana does have 4 observer wards. Okay. Now, you don't need only observers. Against the Slark, you need sentries as well. Because 
guess what? Slark can see observer wards. Is that a surprise for you? For me, it's not. When Slark walks on an observer ward and his passive from his ultimate stops, like he doesn't get the region and the movement speed from his passive, that means there is a ward. That means there is a ward next to you. And then you can say to your team, Yo team, there is a ward here, come and ward. Easy peasy. Oh, that was a nice RP. And that's a double kill for Magnus. Very nice RP skewer. So even though Anti-Mage died, now this is a 1 for 2 trade. And both carries died. Anti-Mage as well as Slark. Arrow? Ooh. Ooh, that arrow was pretty close. By the way, I forgot to mention the 18 minute scepter on Warlock. Um, very well done. That's a pretty fast scepter. Slarkerino, Slarkerino. Oh, you missed the bounce and then he missed the Burrow Strike. Everything was missed that day. Oh, that arrow. Wow. That arrow. I think that arrow saved Warlock's life. Well, there is always next chance. Oh, this ward doesn't see the observer. Nope, not in range for that. Do, 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 do. Anti mage farming the enemy jungle. He went for a Vlad's. Okay, so the Vladimir's is going to delay the the manta, but I think there is no problem with that because what you should ask yourself is, do you really need the manta as fast as possible? Usually yes, because it's probably the best item you can get on anti mage. Uh, because of the the mana break and then you, you burn someone's mana and then you ult him and then he's dead but um, Queen of Pain went for a Midas okay it's a comeback Midas I saw the gloves of haste but I didn't really see him finishing the Midas it was probably seven minutes ago or so it was probably a long time now, anti-mage blinking in. Oh, he's... Uh, okay. Quop tipping back. And meanwhile, on the mid lane... Meanwhile, on the mid lane, another warlock ultimate used. Like, this is... This is the good part about warlock mid. Warlock core. Because you farm mid, right? And then, every time you have ultimate, you can tell to your team... Let's go as five. Let's go push a tower, okay? Because Warlock's ultimate in early game and in late, in some situations, in late is pretty strong as well, but especially in early and mid game is really, really strong. So every time you have ultimate, team, let's go as five. And, uh,. Your ultimate stuns, and of course you have golems. So, you can go as 5, drop your ultimate, oh, okay, RP, RP is on cooldown for 40 seconds, and that means nothing can stop Slark from killing Mirana here. Okay, Slark is pretty close to the uh, Skadi, okay, he has 3 parts of it, he needs the point booster only. 
and then he will have the Skadi finished. Now, Manta, I mean, not Manta, Yasha on Anti Mage. Warlock here, getting the refresher recipe. Oh man, this is going to be. This is going to be pretty interesting. You can see something, okay? Right now, Wind Ranger is 0 4. So. I mean, 0 4. Slark is 8 2. Slark has 8 kills out of 12 in total in his team. So right now we can sl right now Slark is probably thinking I am playing 1v5 Dota and you know what I'm thinking? You deserve it for picking the hero. All right. He blinks out even if he didn't blink out. How can Abaddon kill anti mage? No way. Okay. Scuddy is ready for a Slark. Axe has his blade mail. So, where are the sentries at? No. Guess what? Slark doesn't care about your stun. He has Dark Pact. No Sand King, no. Oh yeah, that's a nice RP into the Warlock ultimate, into the Sand King ultimate. This is team play right there. This is this is it. Like this game, if they keep playing like this in the Radiant team, this game is probably over in in 10 minutes or so. This is another another good way of countering Slark. 1v5. I mean, not <laughs> 1v5. What am, what is this? 5-man um, Dota. Another good way of countering Slark. 5-man Dota, right? Because if you go as 5, he can kill you. Okay. He gets stunned there. Magnus tip is out. Arrow. Arrow didn't hit Abaddon. It was close though. BKB on Quop now, but he's gonna get right clicked by Anti Mage. Oh, so close! One second cooldown on Anti Mage's ultimate to cancel Slark's TP. So close. Did you see, guys, the cooldown? It was one second left when Slark tip it out. If Anti Mage had his ultimate there, he would have cancelled Slark's TP and then that would be a full team wipe. They can do Roche now, because Anti Mage with Yasha, Battle Fury and Vlads with power threats as well of course. Right now he can solo Roche. But you know, better safe than sorry, and if you want to play safe, you can go there with your whole team. But other than that, Anti Mage can solo Roche for sure. Now he has his Manta style and he's already using it to push down the tower. And blinks out. Blinks out. Axe trying to chase. Blade Mail. Okay. I guess that just happened. Wait, Sand King died? He died here. Close though. 
them next level them next level shackles shackling creep like using the shackle on the creep to shackle a hero so we have blink as well as four staff on magnus Arrow, note, gonna hit. Okay, so what's happening right now? What's what's next in this game? I think right now, um, Radiant have twelve thousand gold advantage, and that's a pretty big advantage. Warlock ultimate used as well as RP. Everything is used and Slark couldn't even use his ultimate because of getting He got chain stunned and he couldn't even use his ultimate and now he has Diffusal Blade Diffusal Blade is good Diffusal Blade is good against uh, Warlock because you instantly kill one of the golems but what do you do when the golems are four? And um, he has 180 last hits on Warlock. A refresher, my a refresher, Midas, and Scepter. Arrow on Roche. They get the Roche kill. He didn't even pick up the Aegis. That's double kill. All right. Quop gets a double kill as well. Hmm. Interesting. Pretty interesting. It's a two for three trade. Okay. Obviously the. Radiant got more from the out of this trade. They killed three heroes and they lost two. One of them is the Sand King support. And Sand King, you know, when he dies, he doesn't give away that much compared to if they kill Anti Mage, for example, because Anti Mage has a lot more net worth. Than, than Sand King. What's the cooldown on this? Eight seconds. So, in in one fight, he might be able to kill two golems. One, as soon as he drops the golems, and the second one, eight seconds after that. 8 seconds later but they are 4 so what about that oh he wants to kill bottom yeah he killed him and then he tps out with ultimate oh uh, should have skewered there that was maybe magnus didn't know he's tipping out he could have skewered there Anti-Mage gets a Heart of the Rask now, Quop BKB, and then he will be able to TP out. I think he tp it in the wrong direction though, so now he gets arrowed and stunned. RP for Abaddon, the hate is real, fuck Abaddon, right? And then Epicenter is used as well, Slark, his ultimate is on cooldown, but the Shadow Blade is ready. Let's see how much Slark is going to be able to do in this game. Because Slark is the only one that's kind of owning in the in the Radiant, in the Dire team, I mean. Oh, I guess he's not going to be able to do much. GG. He says GG. Yeah, fuck Slark. Fuck Slark Irino, right?
480704 Okay This is what you get for picking Slark to be honest Pound. Prepare your. Come on, man. What kind of names are those? Give me my money, bitch. Hit, hit, curious. Hit, curious. Hit, curious. Is that? Right? I guess that's how he... I guess that's what you say. Oh no! Slark player is being a bad boy right now. Slark is being a bad boy. Private profile. Of course it's private. He doesn't want anyone to see that he plays Slark every single game. Of course he's private. Fuck you, Slark. The hate on Slark is real in this video. If there is, if there is a better way of calling this, of like the title of this video, if there is any better title than high skill rank game commentary, it has to be, I hate Slark. This is probably what you're thinking if you watch the whole video. I don't really hate Slark, but I am still going to say fuck Slark. I am a winner. I am a winner. My team is loser. My ego is hurting. I picked Slark and I'm not winning a game. My ego is... Getting hurt so much, my Queen of Pain f failed the mid lane for myself. I am winner. Oh man, you're gonna make me cry. For myself, I am a winner. That's my team, I'm okay. Oh yeah, boy. Alright, this. Alright, this. Alright, this. Please. Please, Radiant team, finish this game as soon as possible because I don't even know what I'm talking about and I am acting pretty weird. And he failed the first RP, but he didn't fail the second one. Um, Kappa. Anyway, game is almost over. I can't wait for the game to, to be over because I don't know what to, to say anymore. I can say something else that I never said during this video. Fuck Slark. Alright, so... I, I don't know if I can even call this a high-skilled game, but it doesn't matter. Ranked game commentary. 
Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. It helps out a lot. If you're new to my channel, uh, feel free to subscribe. I try to upload a video every day. Um, thank you for watching this one and I see you in the next video. Good luck and have fun playing Dota.